guys welcome to our brand new video we're going to run through the champions league fixtures for both wednesday and thursday and we're going to provide the best over 1.5 goals i've got 10 matches that i know that is going to come in with goals so make sure that you stay tuned watch the video to the end and then you can get the slip and obviously you can make some money from that so let's just get straight into the games on wednesday there's a lot of money to be made in these champions league fixtures guys so if you follow the plays that we're going to provide for you i'm telling you that the money is going to come through let's get straight into it we've got the psg club bruges game this game guys if you're looking just straight away when you're looking at the standings psg cannot go up or down but club bruges have everything to play for in this match if they want to qualify for third so what i'm looking at in this game is over 1.5 goals in this match i cannot see it missing but i also really like the 3.5 goal handicap on club bruges they're the only team in this fixture that have something to play for so they're definitely going to look to score they're definitely going to attack and psg will most likely rest their players so for me it's going to have some goals and club bruges for the handicap i think will be a great play if you're looking for higher odds the second game is our rb leipzig versus man city game man city have already qualified and they cannot go up or down in this game however rb leipzig they are challenging for that third spot so that they can obviously make the europa league for me this game is going to be over 1.5 goals i cannot see it being under 1.5 goals but i'm also going for value and getting rb leipzig to score a goal at a dollar 40. so i think those two games initially over 1.5 goals is your five star play but you could also look at a club bruges handicap and rb leipzig to score a goal the third match is a milan versus liverpool we can obviously see the odds on Liverpool at $3.20. We all know that they're going to rest their players as they've already qualified and can't go up or down. For me, the best play in this is AC Milan to score a goal. I'm not going to be going over 1.5 in this match. I definitely think there will be yellow cards, but AC Milan to score and just to score only at $1.29 is great value. Ajax Sporting, Dortmund Besiktas, guys, goals 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 these two games are also on my over 1.5 um my over 1.5 slip definitely going to rain goals in this game you're most likely going to be looking at 2.5 at minimum but i'm going to be playing safe and going 1.5 and creating a massive slip at the end this sixth game guys here if you don't know what i'm about to say then you obviously don't watch our videos this game is yellow cards all over it not sure why it's not loading you know, the internet might be a little bit slow, but this game, guys, yellow cards, yellow cards. Trust me, this is the match for yellow cards. I do see a red card. I do see a penalty in this game. These two teams have everything to fight for. Look how close it is in this, in this match. So for me, I wouldn't be betting goals on this game. It's going to be cagey. I think there might be a very close result. So this will always mean that there's going to be yellow cards in that match, guys. So Porto Atletico Madrid is my game for yellow cards. My second game for yellow cards is the Real Madrid versus Inter Milan game. I'm also liking the look of over 1.5 goals. Just be cautious of this game just because both teams have qualified already. However, they are going to be challenging to make sure that they do get the, the top spot in this group. So just make sure you wait for the lineups in that match before you look at double chances or anything like that. We know that both teams have been extremely hot, right? But I'm going for goals and I'm going for corner, uh, sorry, and yellow cards in the Real Madrid Inter Milan match. The last game, I'm not really going to touch this game, Shakhtar versus um, Sheriff. You know, Shakhtar have nothing to play for. They're already gone. They can't make the Europa League. I'll most likely give Sheriff a, a, hot, a handicap. But to be honest with you, there's so much better games to be looking at. I probably won't be touching that too much. Maybe one slip at maximum. Um, just if I'm trying to find additional value, I'll give Sheriff a three goal handicap. So they're the first matches, guys, on Wednesday. We'll move into the Thursday fixtures or Wednesday night um, for most of you guys. The Juventus Malmo game, I can't see anything but a Juventus result. So Juventus win draw over 1.5 goals, or you can give Juventus a straight win. They will not lose this match. The Zenit versus Chelsea match, guys. This is a this is a must-win game for Chelsea. If you're looking at the standings um you can see that obviously zenit they're going to get the third spot and chelsea and juventus are fighting it out for the for the first spot so for me this game 
Chelsea to win at $1.50, I think is great value. If you're looking at um, going a little bit safer, you can go over 1.5 goals or Chelsea to win either half. That bet is not going to lose, guys. If you want an, an unbelievable double chance at $1.16, you could go for Chelsea win, draw, double chance. But I'm going to be looking at value in this match because Chelsea have everything to play for and I do not see them um, slipping up in this game. Atalanta versus Villarreal. I'm going to be going for Atalanta to score. Um, they've been in great form. They've been banging goals in. This game will have yellow cards. We all know what happens when Italian teams versus Spanish teams in the Champions League. There's always going to be yellow cards. Unfortunately, at the moment, the betting agencies do not have the yellow card markets up. So I'm unable to give a precise, you know, over under market. But definitely look at yellow cards in that fixture. Bayern Munich versus Barcelona. Over 1.5 goals, Bayern Munich, they're just an unbelievable side. They definitely will score. Um, Barcelona at $4, to be honest with you guys, don't jump on that at all. I don't care that they've got Xavi or anyone like that. Um, Bayern Munich is on another level and they will not lose this game. So you could look at Bayern double chance or you could look at a Bayern to win either half. Benfica, Dinamo Kiev, the only play I'm giving in this is a win draw over 1.5 goals for Benfica. And the exact same in the United match. I'm going a win draw over 1.5 goals in the United match um, for Man United, obviously. You know, young boys, have I think they've conceded in every single match in the Champions League. United have a brand new manager. They're definitely going to get the result. And I do see Ronaldo scoring in this match. The final two games, guys, are very difficult to select. You need to be very cautious with these games. So I wouldn't be betting um, goals in these games. Most of these have finished 1-0, 1-1. Um, I will be looking at a Salzburg two-goal handicap. I think that they will hold this handicap at home, and they're very desperate. This is the group of death, right? It's, it's going to be a very difficult game to select. To be honest with you, with those last two predictions, guys, look at yellow cards. Anytime that the table is so close... Every team can jump from first to fourth in this month. This is actually being the group of death. So I will be looking at yellow cards only. Because when you've got everything to fight for and you start to lose or it gets cagey, the bad tackles are going to come out and the ref is going to hand those yellow cards out. So for me, I wouldn't be betting goals. I will be looking at yellow cards for the bottom two. I'll show you guys the top ten. That I love for the for the over 1.5 goals. These are 10 matches. You can either play them together or split them or take whatever you like out, whatever you want to do. But the, the, the selections are here, guys. So PSG versus Club Bruges over 1.5. Over 1.5 in the City match, Ajax match, Real Madrid, Dortmund, Chelsea, Juventus, Bayern, Man United and Benfica. To be honest with you guys, the only one I'm a little bit cautious of out of these 10 is the Benfica match. We all know that they can turn it on, but we also know that Dinamo Kiev can actually park the bus. But to be honest with you, when you look at the recent um, fi final match, they match day six always rains goals. 